So let us see that the first phase that is about the interface which include the G1, S and G2 phases. It was not very much known earlier because the kind of changes that takes place inside the nucleus or in the cell during these G1, S and G2 phases that is in the interphase was not known to the scientist till the observations and experiments conducted by Mr. Potu Rao, an Indian and Mr. Johnson. Potu Rao and his associate Johnson, they have conducted experiments to find the link to find the process, how it is going on during this interface. So for this, they have used some fusion technology, the fusion technique in which they join two cells to fuse together to observe the kind of changes that takes place in this G1 phase, S phase and Z2 phase. So they could observe that how the phase is initiated. They understood that this process is going on unidirectional in one way, step by step and it is controlled by various chemical signals which are easily diffused between nucleus and cytoplasm. The chemical signals are easily distributed and controlled. So how they are controlled, how the mechanisms are controlled in this interface during these subphases, it was studied by Mr. Potu Rao and his associate Johnson and they have revealed all these um, um, idea how the various phases of division takes place and events takes place during the phase interface. So now let us look at the different stages of cell division that is mitosis. So there are four main phases which we observe in the mitosis. This is the prophase, prophase, metaphase, Anaphase, telophase. So now let us see what is the uh, changes that takes place in the first phase prophase. So when the cell is ready for cell division in the prophase, what is happening? The nuclear material which is there in the form of chromosome. Actually, the material, genetic material is in the form of a chromatin. That means if you unwound the thread from a thread bundle, just you keep it there like a heap. So all the thread, it will be like a ball. So in such a way you will find the chromatin. It becomes into chromatids. That means it becomes into chromosomes. So the chromosomes, they become clear. Now the thread like material is becomes into chromosomes. They become very clear. They are condensed. Now they can be observed under a light microscope also and they split their lengthwise. So the chromosomes are separated, they split lengthwise and they are connected by centromers. They are connected by centromers, split lengthwise and connected by centromers and the nuclear membrane starts dissolving. Nucleolus becomes very small when compared to the chromosomes, the nucleolus it becomes very small, the nuclear membrane it dissolves. So these kind of changes are observed here. And the centrosome containing rod like centrioles, it starts dividing and going to the different uh, two opposite directions and it will produce some spindle kind of uh, things, fiber like things which will be connected to the centromeres of the chromatids for the process of division. So these kind of changes are observed in the prophase. So what happens in the metaphase? Now these centromeres, they came to that axis of that spindle. So from here, what happens? These spindle fibers, they pull the centromeres. The centromeres, they start dividing, dividing these chromosomes. So this set, this pair will go in this direction. This pair will go in this direction. This pulling will start in that metaphase. Now let us look at the third one, anaphase. In anaphase, we observe these chromosomes are being towards, they are pulled being towards the poles. You can clearly see that they are divided right now. So here is one pair, the other pair, in this way the chromatids, these chromosomes are moving towards the poles that is observed. Now let us look at the last phase, in telophase, we observe that, that the nuclear membrane is again formed, the chromatids 
they go to that uh, separate nucleus the nucleus is divided now the cell organelles are uh, dividing there you can find a constriction in the cell membrane also this constriction it develops to divide the cell into two equal halves so here the nucleus is divided and the chromatids they disappear it forms the genetic material again uh, and now here there is a pinch constriction in the cell membrane which divide this total thing into two cells the cell organelles are divided nucleus is divided new cells are formed after this phase so these are the four main phases prophase metaphase anaphase telophase which is observed in mitotic cell division even you can observe the mitosis by collecting a permanent slide of mitosis which will be available in the laboratory and you can use a compound microscope to study the changes um, the events that happens in that four different phases of the mitosis now let us see what in what way the meiotic division is different from mitosis